What's the best perching option for pet parrots and why should you avoid certain ones? Today's video will teach you the difference since most cages come with less than ideal perching and you'd never know it until it was an issue. Tree branches do not grow in uniform shapes and sizes. They widen and narrow, bend and twist, and rise and fall in ways that give birds variety and options. That variety is important to the good health of their feet. In 2022, I conducted a poll via my email list and asked you what you wanted to see from me in 2023. The top request, after my freeze dried bird food <laughs> was perches. And I had no idea of the struggle people were having sourcing good quality and all natural perches for their birds. Because nature does it best, I listen to you and we're helping you bring nature inside to your bird through our new line of natural perches, varying in sizes from tiny to small to medium and large. True large, not I photoshopped this flying macaw onto a perch and that's actually the proper size for a budgie. We've all seen those. Poor perching, dirty or wrong size perches, and frequent perching on rough surfaces can cause pressure sores on the bottom of your bird's feet, which can easily become infected. This is often referred to as bumblefoot and can be anywhere from moderate to severe. Because the skin is so thin on the bottom of a bird's foot, that bacteria easily passes through. So once a skin infection sets in on the bird's foot, it can turn into a bone infection since there's not much between the skin and the bones in their feet. Here's what to look out for. If there are any red, shiny, or smooth spots on the bottom of your parrot's foot, find more suitable perches for your species of bird. Watch the sores for signs of infection and call your vet for direction on proper care should you notice one. A bird's feet should wrap about three quarters of the way around their perch in order to get a good grip and maintain good balance. If the perch is too large, the bird will be unstable and the constant shifting and wobbling will eventually cause skin irritation and pressure sores. It's best to simply experiment with sizes to find what your bird's preference and needs are depending on the species and background of your particular bird. A baby macaw is going to have different preferences and requirements than an older arthritic parrotlet, for example. This seems like a perfect size for you, sir. I like to provide a wide variety of perching to my own birds. For example, I rotate my birds into different aviaries so that I ensure I have perching suitable for all sizes. From my smallest conures to my medium sized birds like my cockatoo and African gray, all the way to my largest macaws. Your face. Varying diameters in the perches will help your birds avert such problems as arthritis, atrophy, and strengthen and increase dexterity in the feet. Your parrot will be standing on their feet almost 24 seven for the entirety of their life. And so foot health is really essential. Natural wood branches are the best way to go for your parrot's main perch, which means the perch they will spend a majority of their time on. Birds in the wild live in trees that have varying texture, hardness, and width in the branches. The best branches you will find for your parrot at home will mimic this. Good job, Jinxie. And aside from being the natural choice, they are also really fun to chew on. A perch and enrichment all in one? Yes, please. My all natural wood perches are available in both single perches and double perch. A double perch is where the perch is fastened to the cage bars the same way as a single perch, but two different branches form off of it like this. It's basically like a two for one and offers a lot more variety. Jinx is wondering what I'm seriously up to. <laughs> You're doing so good, bubs. I'm very tolerant. Each one of my perches is attached with stainless steel hardware and sandblasted to take off the manzanita bark, which just basically makes the perch more grippy in texture. Bark on perches are great sources of enrichment as well, so if you guys would like to see those in the future, please let me know. For now, we went with only sandblasted option because it's less slick and it's softer on the feet. To order these, check out the link in the video description or visit birdtricks.com. And good news, we can ship our perches internationally. So just be sure to check out our international shipping policy before ordering. Most bird cages come equipped with simple wooden dowel perches. Ah! <laughs> right? <laughs> you totally in my hair. If this is your bird's primary perch, it can be a real problem since there's no variety in the diameter of that perch. So it offers little to no exercise for your bird's feet. Dowel perches can actually be modified to be useful and it's really simple modification. You can simply wrap a dowel perch with jute twine or even vet wrap it and it makes a great perch in a travel carrier or in an enclosure as long as it's maintained and cleaned. So keep in mind if you do vet wrap it, you'll wanna make sure that you often take it off and re-vet wrap it with new fresh vet wrap so that it is nice and clean because it's 
pretty difficult to clean that wrap itself. I've also had friends who have drilled holes into their doll perches and converted them into foraging toys for their birds. So don't feel like you have to say that doll perches are a no-go and totally bad. You can easily modify them to be usable. Corner shelf and platform perches have multiple uses, but the most common one I see is for elderly birds or birds who require the opportunity for their feet to stretch out entirely. I actually use these for my doves in the wintertime so that they are able to sit fully on their feet and cover them with their feathers to help keep extra warm. I've seen some people use these to place food dishes on or even foraging opportunities as well. Just keep in mind that wood in general is porous and can harbor bacteria, especially when wet. So perches of any material will need to be removed and scrubbed down anytime there is food or fecal matter stuck to them, which it'll be often. <laughs> I periodically run mine through my bird designated dishwasher and allow them to dry thoroughly before replacing them in the aviaries again. When you use branches from outside sources, like going out and getting your own from a parrot safe, non-toxic tree, you'll need to sterilize it before putting it into your bird's cage. If you need more information on how to do this, I have some blog posts that'll be incredibly helpful on how to do this process. Make sure any branches you bring in from outside have come from trees that have not been exposed to pesticides. All the perches available on my website are bird safe, non-toxic, and ethically harvested on private lands. They also are none of the endangered manzanina species. And because I'm using a harder wood for my perches, they won't get destroyed too fast from the chewing either, but it will still be fun for the birds to give it a go. Rope and natural fiber perches are great for comfortable relief from the harder perches. Some older and arthritic birds or those with handicaps might really appreciate them. However, since they are so soft, they invite chewing and they can get easily frayed. These frayed parts can trap toes and nails and if ingested, block your bird's crop, which can be life-threatening. So if you're going to use these types of perches, you need to keep a very close eye on the condition of them. Cotton rope, although soft, tends to fray and so it's better to get a natural rope perch that's using hemp, coconut, sisal, jute, anything that instead of fraying breaks. It's just a safer option in my opinion. Calcium perches can be a bit controversial and I think it just comes down to how your bird utilizes it. I had a client who, whenever she offered a calcium perch to her bird, it was gone within minutes. There is such a thing as too much calcium and ideally your bird is getting its calcium from natural sources in the diet. However, calcium perches come in such fun variety, whether it's flavor, colors, or even shape. Some are simply shaped as perches and others have more fun and creative designs. I try to keep at least one of these in my aviaries. However, I can't run these through the dishwasher for cleaning or they disintegrate, so they're trickier to clean clean and usually you just got to replace them. So those of you in the comments who have found an ideal way to clean these types, please share it in the comments. If your bird tends to overutilize your calcium perches in a way where you can't keep up, it would be worth offering more similar textured enrichment through toys or foraging and consulting with your vet about an acceptable amount for your species of bird. Sandy perches come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors as well. These are typically intended to file your bird's nails down and can be made of natural materials like seashells or unnatural materials like plastic covered in a sandy coating or even cement. Most cement perches have been banned or discontinued due to the high heavy metal content found in them and too many birds choosing to chew on and ingest the pieces. I'm going to link a video in the description from a client who used a cement perch that came with her cage and her African Grey got severe metal toxicity poisoning from it and is still trying to recover. Better safe than sorry, I now stay totally clear of cement perches. When sandy perches are done right, these will help keep nails trimmed and help stimulate blood flow in the feet. However, they aren't meant for long-term perching as the rough texture will irritate your bird's skin after too long. So these are great perches for around the food bowl areas where they visit, but they don't stay long. So avoid putting them high up where your bird's favorite roosting area might be. That should be where their natural perch is. Bring nature inside for your bird with our all natural parrot perches available in tiny, small, medium, and large sizes. If you're unsure which size is most ideal for your bird, get multiple sizes. The variety is great for your bird and you'll learn your bird's preference through the experience. Birds are always the best teachers, so let them tell you which size is their favorite. And remember, change your bird's cage up by rearranging the perches inside and even simply turning them upside down for variety. 
If you notice shiny areas on the bottom of your bird's feet, it's definitely a sign that your perching design needs to change or the types of perching you're offering needs to change. Clean your bird's perches often and check out the details of how we determine the size of our perches by checking out the product description on the website. Happy perching and a big thanks to our patrons over on Patreon who make videos like this possible and are our product testers long before public launch, which we appreciate so much. Join us over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash birdtricks.